everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am in my kitchen and Al's not in the video but not yet. He will be in the video a little bit later when he is taste testing what I'm going to be making today. So it's been really hot recently which has been amazing and Al's been finding it really warm. He's been kind of trying to stay in the shade and try to keep cool and I've been thinking of ways I can keep him cool too. And I had this crazy idea when I was sat eating a lolly earlier and an ice cream, I had both. And I was thinking that maybe I could make homemade horse lollipops. Put a little bit of thought in there and I just saw this crazy idea and I'm going to have a go today and see what it turns out like. I thought I might as well film it in case it does turn out well. And you guys want to try it out on your horses and four-legged friends. So I'll show you what I've got. I'm going to be making two types of lollipops today. So I'm going to be blending one all up and I'm going to be just doing a basic one where I just use water, um, carrots and apples. So the ingredients you need is, I'll show you, I've got just some carrots, which are 50p, <laughs> this big letter, and I've also got some apples and also I've just got a kitchen craft set of four lolly making kit. So, I'll get started and cut up some of my vegetables and fruit now. bit of water into these right there there we go don't want to fill them up too full and then inside them it's going to be popping in my fruit which is obviously going to float See if we can get them on there and then. I'll do four. There's one made. There we go, that's my first two lollies made, so I'm just going to make the others now. So, my first two lollipops have been made, and that was just a very basic waters, apple and carrot ones. Here we go. There we go, so they're all sat ready to go into the freezer. And the next ones I'm going to be making is exactly the same. It's going to be have the carrots and apples in, but it's going to look more of a smoothie. I'm going to be blending up with my Nutribullet. So I'll show you through the process, and then we'll see what it looks like. go that looks very orange and carroty we'll see what they make of that so let's pour that into the next one there we go I've got the two different types of lollipops there and I'm just going to pop them in the freezer now and let them set for an hour or two and we're going to be taking them down to Alfie and see what he thinks to them It's now a new day. I was going to give my horses the lollipops last night, but they weren't quite frozen enough yet. So it's a new day and the sun is shining yet again. And I now have my horse lollipops. Let me show you now. There we go. They look quite cool actually, but they, and they smell amazing. But I'm probably not going to try one, but we're just going to head down to the field now and see what the horses think of them. So here we go.
you think? <laughs> Do you like that? I think Alf is quite enjoying his lolly. <laughs> what do you think? He's eaten most of it. Good boy. <laughs> well, I think the horse lollies have been an absolute success. They've nearly, I'm sure Alfie and the other horses are going to eat them all now. So if anyone would like to know how to make them, we're going to be in a blog post as well. Um, watch our videos, subscribe for more videos, and if you want more information on Little Alf, just head to www.littlealf.com. We are going to spend the day eating some more horse lollies. What do you think? Good boy. So that's bye from me and Alf for now. Bye Alf. Good boy.